Yeah, right How you feeling, I guess, right out of the gate and what's your cycle level about being back out there on Sunday? Um, I feel pretty good. The weather was nice today. It wasn't too hot, you know, able to go out there, move around. So wasn't fatigued. I feel pretty good. Seemed like uh, when you came off the field a little hobbled, you ultimately were pressing to get back in. Is that becoming too common where, where you're debating with somebody on the sideline about getting back in the game? <sighs> um, during the game? I can't remember that kind of stuff, man. It'd be so long ago, man. I'm trying to figure out. Let me see what happened. This becoming too common, too, the comedy routine? Yeah, about, I, no, I'm serious. I don't, I, it's, you know, like I said, like, old stuff is kind of, it's just old. Like, I don't really like, you know what I'm saying? Think about that kind of stuff. I always try to do, be week to week, you know what I'm saying? And just talk about this week. I feel great. I feel good. You know, I'm excited about Sunday. Has patience been important for both you and, and AJ this year? I know you guys probably both wanted to come out of the gate real strong mm -hmm. together, but have you kind of learned that you kind of have to be patient for these kind of things? Um, for me, man, my whole career um, is just doing what the team needs me to do, uh, just playing my role. Your role is going to change each and every week, right? So it's just like we have the talent and be explosive and everything else, but, you know, our roles change every week. So, you know, it's – Whatever we need to do to win the ball game, um, and we're not selfish guys like that to get down on ourselves. Oh, it's like, hey, give me the ball, give me the ball, things like that. It's just whatever we need to do at, at the end of the day in the game, throughout the game plan to win the game and be successful. What's it been like being teammates with Derek and, and mm -hmm. kind of witnessing what he's doing you know, in person? Um, it's been tremendous. Um, great guy, great leader on the team. Um, take care of himself. You know, he's he's ready every Sunday for us. Um, we ask a lot of him, but uh, he, he delivers. Um, just, a, just a great pro. It's been like watching AJ kind of struggle to get back to, to full health, uh, you know, after the, the food poison uh, incident this week. Uh, I don't know if he's struggling or not. You know what I'm saying? I can't say he's struggling. Um, he looked great out there today for me. Um, so I don't know nothing about how he felt with the food poison. So I'm not a doctor. I know Derek had a little bit of a poke at him after the game, uh -huh. uh, you know, about the toilet paper and so forth. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't, I, I, I don't know about that. You guys give him a hard time at all man, about this, this Man, nah. I just, you know, I don't mess with him because I didn't, I didn't have food poisoning before. So, like, yeah, it's, it's not, it's not a good feeling, you know. But um, he was chippy today. He felt good, so. With, with that hamstring, you know, as you're going through practice or even through games, like, do you ever find yourself, like, you know how you got to accelerate and mm -hmm. stop and start. Do you ever find, like, does that come up mentally, like, how it could it impact it? Um, when you play in this game, you can't think. If you're out there and you have to think, you can't go, right? So it's just one of those things. Like, like I said, I've just been doing it for a while, just putting it in the, um, you know, the back of your head just to be like, just go out there and play. And you feel good enough to play, just go out there and just deliver. So I, it's not an issue. I don't, it don't come up on me, like, until it does. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, just don't think about it. Just go out there and just play each and every play. What do you hear from teammates maybe after that ricochet catch you had on Monday night? And is that kind of an example? Just don't give up on a play? And did you have any doubts you caught it? Um... Only thing I've heard well during the game, it was just like, that's a catch, like that's all I kind of heard. Like, but throughout the week, people were just like, you know, good job. Um, and I, you know, when the ball's in the air, things like that, it's just that's what we teach around here, right? Just finish longer than the guy with the ball, and if the ball's still in play, just keep finishing. So it just wasn't. I think anybody in that position would at least made a play on the ball or try to make a play on the ball. Two out of the four games that you've played this year, and albeit it was two games that you guys won, mm -hmm. you weren't able to finish the game. Mm -hmm. Is that something that's becoming a trend, becoming concerning? Is it, do you expect that to continue at all? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, um, for me, like I said, um, it's just, you know, we make decisions around here um, for the better of the team, things like that. So things like that just, you know, just I don't know how to go about saying, like, is it going to be this way or that way or, you know, just moving forward. Um, only thing I can do is just get each and every play one play at a time um, for me and to help the team. So, um, who knows? And like I said, it's, it's still early right now, too. So. With the follow up on the catch, I mean, you played a long time. You ever caught one a helmet deflection before uh, in your career? Uh, 
I don't know. Not that you remember. Not that I can, yeah. not, not can, not that I can remember, but um, I remember that one, though. I remember that one. Level for this offense, and I'm, I'm sure it starts with a little bit more consistency as right. well, right? Mm-hmm. Um, just for us, it's like um, just everybody's going out there, just doing their job, um, each and every play. That's it. Like, um, and it's preparation, like every week, right? So when we come out here to practice, we just got to continue, just to keep getting better. That's it. Like we don't need to make it harder or anything like that or to prove anything. It's just more so about us believing one another and just going out there, all 11 guys on one on one play doing their job, and we'll be successful. Westbrook was getting a lot of praise this week for for the fact that he knows all three of the wide receiver positions Absolutely. really well. Is that pretty difficult for for receivers? And and how well has Nick done in that regard? Um. Oh yes, most definitely. Um. You can call Nick, put him in any position, um, situation, anything. I mean, he delivers. You know. Um, and just a great teammate. Um, he doesn't get enough praise um, around here, you know, media-wise and different things like that, you know. But we're here. We love him. We care for him, things like that. And that's why we say it's just like we get, you got a lot of guys that kind of get overlooked, right, when you got players and different things like that and going on. But Nick is one of those guys um, that does a great job around here for us um, and can step in any role and make it happen. And you won't miss a beat with that guy at any position offensively. So um, he does a great job for us. So.